How are you doing this evening? Terrible. I, I don't want to be here. I don't like being nominated for awards. I don't believe in them. <laughs> it must be such a great boon, really, to, to you. I mean, the acknowledgement that not only when you're, you've written, you've, sorry, when you've taken part in a part that means so much to you, then to be recognised by other people, it, does that mean a lot to you? Yeah, because it's, I guess it's your peers giving you a pat on the back, which is nice. Um, yeah, you know, it can be a bit kind of lonely, you know, spending sort of night after night in Hackney doing night shoots, you know, during the summer. So it's, it's quite nice, you know, to know that people are kind of at least watching your work, you know. So, yeah, it feels good. But more importantly, I think for the film, you know, for My Brother the Devil, which is obviously doing really well as it is, but it's, you know, it's nice to have a kind of a British, a truly British independent award like the Biffers to, to back it as well. So it's good for the film. Yeah. And, and the beauty of independent film for you, is it, does it help you hone your craft? Yeah, yeah. I think generally speaking, you have a bit more freedom, creatively, in independent film. You, you know, all the kind of the bigger projects I've done, you tend to have more uh, corporate breathing. You know, on your politics. Yeah, it was politics everywhere, but, <laughs> but I guess there's probably less so maybe in independent film. You know, I think as an actor, you know, you wanna you wanna be adventurous on set. You know, so. In my experience, anyway, independent film has allowed me to be more experimentational. And, and, did, and did Sally allow that for you as well? Because she's also written it as well as directed it. So do, does she allow you to, to come and give your input and say, look, actually, this is how I see the part going? Uh, or is she more protective over it? Well, I think like all great directors, she, she knows when to be collaborative and open and let you do whatever you want and improvise and whatever. But then she also knows when to rein you back in. Um, but I think, you know, w w when you're actually filming, you want to be free to just try anything, throw a bunch of stuff against the wall and see what sticks. And then, really, it's all about having trust that the director and the editor are going to pick the kind of dynamite takes, hopefully there are some good takes, uh, you know, for the final cut. So it it's a collaboration, really, between the actor, the director and the editor. Yeah.